Hello Marine Arena, and welcome back to another video. Today, a lot of people have, uh, you know, been PMing me, messaging me, um, leaving comments on YouTube saying, hey, you know, we we want the build orders, you know. It's like we, you get your, whenever we watch your stream, you're doing things too fast. You're upgrading really quickly. We can't really see exactly what upgrades you're getting. And, you know, I would just like to show you guys by sharing you a replay of a game I played yesterday. It was uh, the Random Teammate Tournament Finals. And, yeah, uh, so this was kind of, I guess, a standard Marine Ling game for me. Kind of, uh, a lot of people have uh, different Marine Ling builds. But I think, uh, I fully think this, this is the best Marine Ling build in the game. Because... And I'll explain my reasoning. Because um, Marines, or this build, will allow you to do well in any situation. Uh, even in pubs, it's good. Even in scrims, it's good. It just gives you the overall, like, I guess, standard strength. And I think your power spikes are a lot stronger than others. So, yeah, let me just show you. So uh, I'm glad this replay is really fast because <laughs> I would I would not want to uh, bore you guys. We're not gonna watch the whole thing. I'll probably I'll probably just show you guys the mid. Okay, so um here quickly. So what are the first two upgrades we're buying? I buy a medevac first, and then with my next 300, which I will get in like 60 seconds. Uh would be stim. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Uh, I decided to go with Festers. Uh, this is kind of like a good game to show too because it shows kind of like all the strats that you will be seeing. Uh, like just the general strats you would be seeing in a game. Uh, you're going to see it probably, possibly another Marine Link player. Uh, you probably will see a Taz with Arm if you're doing this. Probably Ghosts are pretty popular, might be the best, op most best safe opener. I'm not, I don't want to take a full fight until I've stim, and I finally got stim a few seconds ago, as you can see. So now I can actually take a fight with someone. Um, I'm looking for a fight, because before you have any of the miners, you're really looking for the kind of best flank. You don't want to fight anyone without any miners indirectly, because you are going to lose to just basic mercs in, a, in that kind of a situation fight. No sentry, no miner, does not look good for you in a direct fight. So let's do that. So as you can see, my ally's doing a great job of just saving his energy just for when I fight fungal. It's huge because the fungal units uh, are basically free, free money get picked, and they cannot get away from me. And marine, when marines can, I guess, um, actually touch a small trickle army, that small trickle army is just complete feed. You just fully chug it away. So here we have a Tassadar. I don't really want to fight. I'm kind of poking back and forth, trying to bait out a few storms. So uh, we see a task from here. So here I'm basically trying as fast as possible to go into. Once I get 400, I'm going straight into the CC, and I'm getting this stopping power miner. This is an insane miner. This is a great miner. It um. 
increases your HP by 10. It adds plus 1 damage to your Marines and increases the damage of your Marines. And uh, additionally, I'm pretty sure it gives you a attack speed increase. A standard one and one while you're still. Yeah. Very good. So here we get the leech. Still dodging the storm because you got one storm off even after the police. I got that fungal in here, let me show you. Look, the, the army's fungal. I got it from Marine. So now I have my uh, miner. My first miner. And this is where I can kind of fight things. See, I get my first miner. Here, uh, this guy kept poking a little bit too forward. I get a little bit of a dose. So my miner helps me get money um, very quickly, and I have a lot more DPS just from this one miner. This miner is like, I'm pretty sure it's equivalent to like three attack ups if you wanted to like compare power. So obviously, this miner is probably the, the best starting upgrade you could get after the stim in Medi. So now next, I get a sentry of my next 250. What does a sentry allow me to do? Well, suddenly, it's like, oh, I did take a great fight with that miner, but I don't actually have that much mass left, right? So now I get my sentry. What does the sentry allow me? It allows me to retain more mass, and, you know, it's a nice little thing with force field, you know, maybe the guy's overextending a little bit with the reaper or something like that. You force field it and pick it up, you know? So, you know, you can always... It's just kind of a... A great unit in every situation. Every army comp can use this entry. So here, I'm just waiting for a fungal. And this is basically the entire game. We're just waiting, have a fungal, I run in, smash everything else, right? It's just huge. I see scores are moving up on the map. This is probably going to be my tough competition for the for the game to be won. Let me hit them with an early flank. Now I know Darkness is hurting because I got his ghost. I know Panda just got leeched, so he probably doesn't have much energy. I say, hey, let's do this. Oh yeah, and we also have tower. That's this is important. They can't. They don't know we're here, really. Um, and here it's like not even. You don't even have to like actually commit to the flank here. You just. I guess I do. But usually, you could just poke back and forth right here. And this kind of drives them... If they're taking a trade with these guys already, it's going to drive them more towards them. And these guys will get the better trade. So I'm actually helping this team get a better trade. Again, because I know that these guys are going to be more of a threat than these guys, right? So it's kind of like the way you want to think with um, Marine Link. Just kind of a zone, zone people with it. Because people are scared of you flanking. Marine Ling is a very powerful strat when it comes to hitting a flank. It's probably the scariest thing to be flanked by. You have the most DPS, but the, the, the downside to Marine Ling, right? They're not that scary to direct engage. If it's only you and the enemy, the Marine Ling isn't going to really win, unless you're way ahead, obviously. But you're, you're gonna, if you're on similar bounty as the, or even a, only a little bit higher than the Merc player, the Merc player will destroy you in that engagement. I don't want to really lose any mass right now for no reason. No reason to trade with the pass right now. Now I do see that they are trading. Uh, I have okay. So my next upgrade from here, I got so far. I have the Medi Stim, stopping power, and a Sentry. My next upgrade is going to be the second miner. Now I'm actually not sure. This could be a uh, kind of room for improvement with this build. Maybe you could sneak an attack up in between because it would actually help the 10% DPS increase, right? It would, it would, it would literally, it would be insane amount of attack increase, and I'm not sure if that is more worth it or the attack speed is, but for now, I think that the best build is with the stim attic next. Let's see how it plays out. I get the next flank on the stalkers. Stalkers are kind of not the best against marines. So you also need, as marine wing, you need to know what your, what fights you're good to take. Now, um, stalkers are one of those things that's kind of a slow firing unit, and any slow firing unit you, you pretty much crush because links are, uh, are are countered by fast firing units because they don't have much HP. But if you're tanking three to four stalker shots with each link, 
because and it's slow. You're it's they're never gonna touch your marines, which is what is important. Take a trade, back out. Um, so yeah. yeah, I think. Oh yeah, I don't have my second miner. start kind of getting my attack upgrades which are great because it simplifies things right you know what you want to be upgrading now um a lot of people like to go vulture earlier in the game personally i do not prefer vulture vulture is a great unit don't get me wrong and it's very good but in games where it's like a competitive game you're not really gonna be around the map that much unless you have it at lead, right? You're not gonna be, what a vulture really helps is when you're going from one side of the map to the other. Here it's like kind of a corridor to mid fight. I'm not, I don't really need that speed. I can get there just fine without the vulture. And that saves me, what, 250 minerals and another 200 for the aura speed. So I'm, I, I'm actually getting attack, which will help me more in a direct fight. So vulture would help you more with harder flanks, which is harder to hit flanks on people who are experienced. Whereas this attack will help you more in the sustained fights, which Marine Link struggles against, which is why I like I like to prioritize the attack. By the way, Infestor support is insanely good for Marine Lane. Also, if your ally can go full DT, it also can work. I prefer the Infestor, however. I feel like you have a lot more, um, I guess, DT. You have one stun every... It's like a 10 second cooldown, right? You have one stun, it's more than 10 seconds because time scale, but... It, whereas uh, max energy Infestor, you can spam chain fungal stuff so you could fight technically more than the with the dt uh the dt might be better for killing elite slightly but the tester does a great job with it too and on top of this a lot of people with especially task players uh who would normally just wreck you because they just drop storms on your marines you can never fight them if they have to start worrying about feedbacking the fester as well a lot of times you can even if they well, or, okay, so so there's two two scenarios, right? There's a scenario where they feed back your allies at Fester, and then you're like, oh, okay, let me fight a little bit. You get a little bit of mass, and then you back out. Because after they feed back, they have a slight storm um, cooldown. I think it's like two to three seconds. Um, uh, in between, like, where they when they can storm. So you trade a little bit, you back out. The other alternative is they try to drop a storm. You're going to, if you if you can, you try to dodge it, but your ally gets a leech too. In that, in that scenario, you just fall back a little bit, wait for the storm to go, and then you full throttle forward, okay? And then on top of that, your ally's infestor has some energy, which he can fungal the units, and yeah, it's just, you get a lot of money there. Both scenarios, I see it doesn't work. Now, Oracle task is actually pretty decent against this strategy. Uh, Panda, obviously a great player, knows what he's doing, right? He's doing, he's countering us, but... Uh, if you're good at Fester and you're good with Grindling, you can uh, play around. So, uh, 
about the seven minute mark, I'd say this is great. This is amazing to be. This this scenario is amazing to be at at seven thirty. You, this is like ideal. This is probably the best you could be at. Good. I can leech on the pass. Wow, there's an energy up. Now it's like okay. You see panda score going up. The task must not be here. Let's hit this darkness army. I guess we were a little bit late, we could have probably hit it. Oh, it's because we didn't have vision. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. Well, as it would, as well as he could have if it was in the army, but that's understandable. He was trading with Team 3. If you don't have enough energy to fungal, you just are spamming leech on anything you can. While being, you know, your marine link player should be protecting you while that's happening. So here I really want to fight the Stalker. I kind of counter the Stalker, but everyone else has kind of a pass. Or dark the Stalker. So the Brutalist will end up countering you. This is actually not amazing. Uh, you got feedback. Um, but he got the Fuggle and a few Band Bombs off right before that happened. And I also got the Storm off, but I kind of stutter stepped in so the Storm would hit me less. Uh, here, all, all around, it's a pretty great trade, but unfortunately, um, Team 2 uh, capitalizes on me really just being greedy and wanting to eat. And uh, pushes and blinks onto my allies and tester and ends up killing it. Okay, so here we have three attack. Our next upgrade will be the first range up. The first range upgrade is very important. Um, I actually think that if you're going to get any upgrade at this time, it should be the range up. Now, um, the second range up is kind of, you could kind of uh, delay that one for blink, but I actually think the first range up is very important when you're trying to snipe things and kill things. It comes in handy. Now uh, let's take a look at the other um, marine build from Truth. So Truth is going, um, he opened uh, DT, so let's look at the differences, right? He has plus one attack both miners, a zone zero DT, and a, and a medevac. Me, I have a three attack, almost the range, a sentry, and a medevac. Now although DT is very nice to have, especially in pubs, what, like uh, the thing about the DT is it's not like a guarantee, right? If the pubs, if you're in a pub and they know how to scan, suddenly this DT isn't as good. The level zero stun really doesn't give you enough room unless the elites or heroes are very in front to just kill it. So it's like, it's just kind of a r more risky version. It's like basically relying on people not being able to scan. But this is just a stylistic choice. He likes that. I understand that, right? But I I prefer this build a lot. So I saw that he wanted to stasis reveal, or oracle reveal, I split my army a little bit forward to pretend like the fester is with it, and use his energy on it, you know, just a little. So my allies and fester is back in the game, now we can start trading again. Right. Right. I kind of want to fight Darkness a little bit behind. Like, uh, the thing is, when you're in the lead, you kind of need to be the one forcing the engage. So right now I got my uh, range, because the 10 minute income mark hit, and then I got another attack up. So I'm, I'm going to go up to, hopefully, 8 attack from, from this point on. 
I think I do something a little bit different this game, but that's what we do. I have to feel like I have a very really strong grip and control over the game. We got a nice little leech. Now I can just run in and fight the fungal. Now this is not a great fight. Honestly. Without without these bane bombs and the fungal, this would have been a terrible fight. But since I was, I knew that this guy had his marauders weren't fully murked up, and the lancer player is shooting the marines slowly. I knew I could kind of just push forward. Like yeah, this is what I mean by being in the lead, right? I, I'm taking a bad fight, but I I don't really care because I need a trade, right? Uh, I need to stay in the lead. And these guys, they they need a perfect trade, right? So it's it's good for both of us. But I know I know these guys aren't gonna, you know, if if it was like really bad and they were crushing me, I wouldn't have taken this fight, right? I always have an opportunity to back out, I should say. So uh, let's see how it goes. Maybe not the best fight. I get a lot of answers. From um, like, I think they got more, but I think it was still a really good fight for the situation that I'm in. Okay, so next, I'm still, I didn't really spend my money during the fight. Uh, now I grab two more attack ups. So I'm at six attack. Right, I got, I have my minor sentry medi stiff. 4k bounty in 12 minutes cannot be better. Cannot be better. Very great, very great situation. Nice little leech, we're getting energy. Slow the game down a little bit. Just kind of trading back and forth until I have mass enough to hit a hard hit a hard engage. So my ally got creeped, so we're even faster. This is like perfect. I don't even need a vulture. Well, I mean, I will later, but you know what I mean. I'm still pretty quick, and I didn't have to spend any money on it. Great support. So here, I notice this is a level zero Odin, and hey, the task isn't very close to him. So I decide, hey, you know what? Let, let's try to nuke it down. I fungle this. He fungles this, and I just stutter step in. Grab it, pick off the Odin. Nice little 275, which is great for my position. And what can I get with this next? Uh, I don't remember what I choose, but I definitely, okay. I remember what I okay. So I decide, I'm sniping a lot of heroes just by, with the fungal. Maybe I don't, and I'm not really having any trouble with the test. So maybe I really don't need blink as quick as um, I would, because there's no air on either side either, which is really what blink helps you with the most like spellcaster in there so i'm saying hey you know what let me get another range upgrade because i'm killing them anyway and this range up might help more immediately than blink because blink i still need two more attack ups yep okay so six range nice so here uh, we got a nice leech right, grab off the medi with the fungal i unfortunately do not get the task even though i was targeting that and here i need to back off uh, oh, and I get the DT on top of that. Like, really trade. Like, um, I'm so strong right now that people kind of pressuring me. Actually, my Marines are just nuking stuff down, right? So I, I didn't even click that DT. It's just, it was so quick, right? Uh, so, auto so now I have 500 more. Uh, I'll get another two attack ups, or maybe I get a Vulture. Let me think. Oh, I do get a holster. Wow. Okay, very uncharacteristic of me. And I think this is actually worse. I should have gone to blink. But I do end up getting the... So, like, if you're in a pub, I wouldn't recommend this. If you're not moving around the map a lot. Um, but I get the vulture and the vulture's beat with my, uh, with my with my bank right now, right? What the hell is going on? Isn't that supposed to... Why is it showing me this? It's supposed to be the vulture. Okay, whatever. So we're spreading creep, I got the vulture. I think it was because I wanted to help my allies and fester go quicker because the vulture in the medi actually affects uh, your allies units on your YouTube. So yeah. So here, kind of uh, trying to go up to 8 attack and then I'm getting blink. Great position that I'm in. Oh, and I noticed that Darkness is really weak. He's been put really behind. Let me just, I can probably just click on his things and it will die. Okay, so that it does. So another go. Here I'm slowly inching to get a very nice lead. I'm 1k above almost everyone. Everyone, yeah. Everyone. Literally everyone. Um, 
Ooh, so yeah. Five, seven attack. I want to go up to eight next. Running around, waiting for mats, waiting for a sick fungal. I know this is a really dangerous planet. Uh, I could have, uh, if our defester was in position, we could have fungled. These guys could have came forward, and I don't think it would have been great for him. But that did not happen. So. Okay, let's pay attention to the build. Marine Ling is like kind of the build where it's like a very different skill set from like a normal Merc choice. It's like a lot more, I don't know, you just play very differently. In that you know, you're looking for more flames. Poking back and forth, back and forth, to kind of stop team 3 in, in team 2 from trading. Because if they start trading, they'll both go up in score and I won't go up any. And I know that Team 3 is pretty crippled, or Team 4 is pretty crippled, they probably don't want to fight me. Nice, sick Bane Bomb. Great Bane Bomb. My allies. You know, every level in this Infestor makes the fumble a little bit longer, the Bane Bombs hurt a little bit more. And Queen Infestor means that we're able to just fight anything, basically. That's why Queen is so great with Marine Link. Yeah, I'm not really, uh, you know, I'm just trying to poke, trying to stop Team 3 from getting everything. So what do we see here? We get a leech. me to do. Now I can start uh, playing even more aggressive. I've been playing pretty aggressive up to this point. Here I can just pounce on anything. We hit a fungal, bam, I'm on it. We hit a we hit a fungal on the task. We don't even need a fungal on the task. If it's coming forward to feedback I I can blink forward, surprise them, you know, kill that task. Okay, and then we have People who think Marines are OP, let's not forget, this is the guy who has lost three ghosts this game already. So, I don't think Marines are broken, right? You, you guys went, you lost three ghosts this game because the task wasn't in position with you. And we've lost a level zero Odin already. So that puts us extremely behind. Uh, we don't even have the Brutalisk upgrades. So the Brutalisks aren't helping at all. They're basically as good as Hydralisk with more health. With a tiny bit more health. But it's literally not, not very good at all, right? Like the... the, the this is why... Um, this is not because Marines are broken. Rather, this is because we bought too much tech and we didn't really capitalize on it. Right? And, and you kind of let me sp snowball into this position too. Right? So. Here we're just waiting again. We have a fungal. We have a nice fungal. Then we have um, marines with blink ready to pounce. Great combo. I everything. So here I realize, hey, team two and team three are fighting a lot. And I see team four does not want to fight me. Setting up the vulture mine so you know if that situation does arrive where I can cross the map and join team three, I can do that without losing a chunk of my marine. He's gonna, we're trying to hit a leech on that path. We actually hit a nice little uh, fungal, which uh, allows us to get that medi. I just blink on the medi and it's dead. So yeah, nice little, um, nice little engage there, right? And inching, inching ahead. So now, uh, what do I want to do? I, kinda, I, I even blink on this, because I know you can't swallow. I'm blinking so that He's forced to put down a storm, and meanwhile my ally can maybe get a leech, but he decides not to do that. 
So here I'm trying to go up to 12 attack. It's kind of like the sweet spot for attack upgrades on the Marines. It's where your Marines are strong enough to where you can start, you know, teching something else while your Marines are still going to be very good against most armies uh, with like a support hero like that. But here, uh, team 3 is where I'm fighting a lot, and I do realize that I'm going to get a bounty board and get a sword coming up from that here, so yeah. 20 minutes into the game, I'm about to get another 500 minerals. I do see that um, I keep both fading out the walls of mine, so I can point on people. So, uh, okay. Obviously, I'm at 8k. Very ahead of everyone, at least 2k. Try to trade pick any trade with anyone, basically. Darkness just looking for a tower fight, and I'm completely down for this at any moment because um, any trade with Team Four is actually just doesn't even matter. I could I could lose everything to Team Four. I mean, it wouldn't be good for me, but it wouldn't be the end of the game for me either because or it wouldn't like put me set me that far behind because Team Four is basically it is essentially out of the game, right? They've lost so much and they've put in to so much tech that their units are so far behind. And their tech isn't even very high. So, um, yeah, any trade is pretty good. And as a low six capital out which is dangerous. So we get the funnel. My ally gets the funnel. Let's actually run that back for me. Oh, man. It's going to take forever. I shouldn't have done that. All right, we'll go back. <laughs> All right, so I get the pass. My ally hit, hit, hits a sick fungal. And... Panda goes back and gets the feedback on him, but the f it's too late. The fungals are already down, so I'm I can easily just blink and pick that off. Uh, here, not the best. I go for a, d a little bit of marine dive on the oracle. Don't get it, however. So yeah, but here I'm feeling really good about my position right now. Twelve attack, and what do I do after twelve attack? I get this is kind of where the point where I would normally get a vulture with the upgrade, and then I would get a support tower. And the reason for this is because. So fourth tower is um, just great for if you're like, you know, if you're ever in that fight where it's like, I really want to win this fight and get, get everything, but I just don't quite have enough. You could just drop behind them like, the the early merc drops are cost nothing, right? It's like five hundred minerals for for five pots, right? So uh, you could just kind of change the tide of tide of battle and set them even further behind. I probably want to use this on someone like Team Three. Also, you can see if they're like out of position, if Team 3 is just constantly fighting Team 2, I could give them a little bit of a drop. That's safe. That's 1k down when SD hits. They're not going to have 1,000 minerals when set in death hits, right? Because you get 1,000 minerals refunded by set in death from a saver. So here, um, just kind of looking for opportunity, doing what I've been doing all game. My allies, Infestor is level 6 right now. Um, uh, in a perfect game, you get the 20 minute ish queen maybe a little bit after uh here we're not getting it because we lost it once but no problem because we've been because i'm doing great right so it's it's fine let's see we get the reach i can't really fight this i noticed hey two full two merc armies against one marine army my links probably won't be attacking much so pretty pretty useless to fight that so here I'm just kind of keeping towers, looking for the golden opportunity to get a flank, maybe uh, snipe a hero, something like that with the fungal. And uh, keep in mind, both of us are looking for the opportunities. Um, if Balance can uh, find a sick fungal, I'm ready to jump on it as in. Uh, we were in a voice call this game, so we were constantly saying, hey, let's hit this, hey, let's hit this. And that's kind of what you want to be doing with your support ally when you're playing this kind of a game. I'm just gonna get to the point 
I'm gonna stop the game when I get to the Max Dark Templar, because from there on, it's like, it doesn't really matter from there on. Uh, from there, from there on, you just want to be scaling stuff, kind of. You don't want to really be. Uh, you can, It's kind of like what the game. It's a lot of circumstances that I really don't want to go into because it's just infinite uh, possibilities. What? Well, not infinite, but like how? Like if it all depends on the army comps you were playing against, right? Playing against the dark you might want to do something else. You're playing against the dark archon, you might want to do something else. You're playing against um, armor scale there, you might want to do something else. There's just so many possibilities. I really can't cover all of them. But this build is uh, up to the DT is kind of like standard. You kind of want to do it every game. There's not really much variation you want to do. So now I got my DT out. Level zero, and I'm just going straight to max out. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm looking for if DT helps me. It's like, oh, I stun. Okay, okay, kill him, kill him, right? I stun, kill him. Back. The fungal plus stun is disgusting, right? You stun him, and then you get the perfect fungal over the whole army. Very, very good. Stun allows me to go more out of position. Look at that. We get a nice fungal, and I put a game bomb the entire army. Great. Seven, and I don't more PA right away, I look for more uh, snipes on heroes. PA is kind of more when you have more armor than you scale. I'm just looking for any fight, like I said. Uh, you're ahead, you want to be able to fight. If you're getting a fight, you want to be able to fight. I see the, the paths, I kind of just fucked up. I blink into the board. I throw a game bomb. Oh, I'm going to have a game bomb. I wasn't really paying attention, I think I was in my race upgrade. Which uh, wasn't good because that if, if pursuit of the queen the better. Thing. So here I'm looking at oh, he's on the tower. I can snipe that path probably. Oh, hang on over here. I could probably get the path with your sense. Just looking for any trade balls. Right now I'm real terrified. They don't want to fight here. My enemies are so strong and I have So that's kind of like what Marine Ling is all about. You always get to the next kind of uh, power spike, right? It's like, oh, I feel like my Marines are weaker right now. It's okay, you have a power spike and like a few more upgrades. Oh, my Marines are a little weaker. Oh, you have a DT out the next fight, you know? Stuff like that, you know? You keep on it, it kind of keeps ramping up until you get to that late, late, late game strategy temple on Marine X, right? It's just, uh, that's, when, that's when kind of stuff stabilizes. So our fester is out. Um, I think it's close. It's not my goal yet, but it will be. Not allowing them to fight him through, really. Taking a look, okay, he revealed my DT, that's fine. Just kind of looking for that task, try to bait it out maybe. And um, at the same time, don't want to uh, be being really hard. Uh, it's kind of hard to stop over here with that one, but I'm trying my best. I'm trying to kind of poke the pressure and make my face and I'm coming. Uh, so I run it, I blink it. This is probably not the best, but again, it doesn't matter if it's not the best. I'm ahead. I need to take trades no matter what. Well, not no matter what, but, you know, I need to take a bad trade in order to get a trade, or else no one will trade. So here I blink in, grab the Medi, but what do I get in return? I get flanked. Oh, I lose the sentry. That's unfortunate, but <laughs> definitely worth it in the long run. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we're still leveling our DT, I believe. Yeah, level 3. It's gonna be level 4. Come on, Micro Jack, high level 4. Need it. Nice to get up the hand down. We get the leech, I know that's that. 
Kind of a preemptive planetary, no one can really kill me right now. I just do it just so I don't forget like it's funny. I have the money, I'm way ahead, why not? Maybe I even get the mini ups. All game, all gold DC boy. We lost the investor. We got his DT, but he also got my DT, so obviously we won the trade. But it doesn't really matter. I'm way ahead anyway. Trade the trade, right? But this is probably the way to go to the people I don't want to be taking the terrible trade. I'm kind of supposed to get my back. I see from the corner of my eye that um, Dino's medevac is too low. You can see that right here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to see what's happening here. This is before the turn of the number three. I get um, his DT because I noticed that he's not really paying attention. He's going for the medi and stuff. So, uh, nice little pick off there with my own DT. So, I scan and I'm like, wow, that medevac is 1 HP. Let me split off a little bit of army, try to like, uh, land on target it fast enough, and it doesn't really work out, but still worth it, worth it try, right? So, my DT level 4. Can't really fight that. I mean, I probably could, but I didn't even know that the arc level was going to get it to the notification. Right here, I'm really tempted to blink on the ghost, but I uh, realized, hey, it's probably not the best thing to do. Just looking for my trades. My uh, teammate Valorant finally got a swing out. Pretty good. Looking back, taking a trade, because I'm so behind, which is the best. Uh, the Archon is out, I did see that, so now I can't really fight that without the swing. I want to stop this. Uh, happening when she's breathing too straight. That's really the only way I can lose it to breathe and get it in. I'm going to stop the map. I see them trading. I see the eight. I see the eight. Yeah, I'm still getting my uh, we get a little bit of a pause. So I have a level 5 Dark Templar. Getting close to max. Uh, it helped me a lot. I think I got anti hero damage with my Marine. Yeah, I'm correct. Because uh, I saw that Archon out and I was like, okay, I really need it. Uh, I don't think you could hit that. Oh, you're a little bit. Not really too bad. Literally, in anything. I'm just poking around looking. I know that you two, you two like to trade, so I'm sitting on their, on their plane. I'm trying to prevent that from happening. I see damn blue files. This stuff really does keep happening. I scan a little bit. Yeah, so this is a weird kind of dynamic. Team 3 and Team 2 are sort of similar scores, right? And so they're trying to trade off one another because they know that if they trade me with me, I'll wreck them. And then Team 4, Team 3 doesn't really want to trade with them because they have an Odin and a High Templar Archon. So they don't really want to trade with Team 4, but Team 4 doesn't really want to trade with us because we have a Queen and we're way ahead. Um, so, yeah, it, Team 4 is kind of... It's honestly, it's just GG for them because at this point is when the, the game matters a lot because going into FC you want to be in a very good spot and neither player has very strong units. Now, he is a wild dog. So I'm looking for a trade to see if we get a nice combo while he goes up. Oh, we get feedback, no problem. He got the fat fungus. So that was happening. He's getting some energy. 
like, you don't really need to kill anything, right? As long as you're getting those fungals, eating up the army, it's all good in the end. So I'm kind of poking with the DT. Yeah, I have a low 6 DT. And I see, look, look, so I poked with the DT, even though I wouldn't see this from Tower Vision. I poked up, I made sure it wasn't auto-attacking so they didn't know it was there. And then I stunned because I saw the pass open up. Opened up. I was like, now this wasn't the greatest, right? Because I didn't realize that the queen wasn't as close to me as I thought. So, uh, like, uh, I, don't, I don't lose much. It wasn't, I lost a lot of mass, but not the end of the world. I got the pass at the end of the world. And that's kind of what separates good Marine Blink players from uh, mediocre is how much they will lose. Oh yeah, by the way, on top of this, I saw that Team 3 was hitting uh, Team 2. So I just decided, hey, let's get that savior out of the way. Let's minus a thousand um, when a sudden death hits. You know? And both of them bought PFs so on top of that. They would have bought them anyway, but they're down even a little bit more. Oh yeah. I'm trying to stop when I get to level 7. Level 6, so, soon. I'm constantly looking out for this Archon because I feel like I can pop it pretty easily, but Fenda's doing a great job of positioning it, a, it in a way so I can't do that. Keep spreading creep. Uh, these guys really want to clear it, preventing that, because that gives us the queen ability to go across the map and toggle them, which is huge. Kind of looking for any trade you can get, but Balance also looking for any group he can get. So I can probably get the pass next time if he did that again. I just wasn't ready. So I'm just kind of playing center, waiting for uh, Angle to hit. Um, get the reach out of the Oracle. Of course, the Max Level DT. Close to my next power spike. Because after Max Level DT, I can start to yeah. I'm trying to trade with anyone and anyone because and everyone because uh, no one wants to fight anyway, so any trades are gonna trade. Like losing my mask no problem. I'm just sitting here anyway. Trying to poke in before I can arc up here. We're getting a little combo trading. We did do this to the Archon, I don't know why they didn't go in. I didn't do that. But I don't really want to jump on it with the air on top as well. I see that. Uh, we got the Dark Templar with the fungal as well, so it can't move. I go for the Betty first, because it's actually not fungal. But I avoid prison it, so. That was not great, honestly. I'll be honest. That was not great. But at the end of the day, I set these guys behind, and I didn't. I wasn't really trading. I wasn't gonna trade with anyone anyway. There's no way I was gonna trade with anyone anyway. So losing my medi, my vulture in a century. It's like, yeah, sucks. But you know, now I have a lot of money. Or now, now it's like they can't fight either. Which um, the quote, and if if these scores are the same and SD just hits, it's like, yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine. I'm fine with this. I win the game. Right, I can hold mid on kind of I'm trying to buy I don't have enough math to jump on that Archon right now. You know that too. I don't know what I end up buying. I think it's just like we will share my that. Alright, you have to bet, okay? So I I think you match yet. DT is so well. There, King 3 still really wants to trade with the two as well. So, uh, yeah. And at the 40 minute mark, I should be able to max out my DP. Uh, I get my max out Dark Templar. And yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the video here. Um, but, 
I will say what you want to be doing out of this. I have maxed out my DT. I, as you can see, I instantly started scaling. Got a. I'm gonna get two upgrades on my Zerglings and two upgrades on my DT attack, which is equal to uh, two more upgrades on my Marines, which are aren't need as expensive. And then I probably want to go um, something like health and armor. Now the rest is very situational. Kind of want to be doing the same thing up to SD, just looking around, hitting fungals, sniping stuff. You know, constantly be on the lookout for any sort of money you can make. But, yeah, I mean, sometimes there would be a unique situation. And, yeah, that's kind of just game knowledge. You kind of keep on practicing the strat, see what, what works out best for you. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. And I hope this kind of helped with all the confusion in the I guess, questions about what build I do when I do Marine Link. And I hope I kind of slowed it down for you, showed you the thought process behind it and why we get these upgrades the way in the order that we do. All right, uh, thank you for watching, bye.